Dicey Peaks is a thrilling dice game where players take on the roles of adventurers, scaling Yeti Mountain to be the first to reach the legendary red flag at the top. To begin a game, separate the mountain tile types into five individual face-down piles and shuffle each pile. Build Yeti Mountain by placing six sixes in a row at the bottom, five fives above that, four fours next, then three threes. Finally, place the three summit tiles, marked zero, in a peak on top. Return all unused tiles to the box without looking at them. Each player receives the climber pawn and oxygen marker in their chosen color, plus an oxygen player board. The oxygen markers begin on the nine space at the top of the oxygen player boards. And all climber pawns begin at base camp to the left of the first six tile. The player who most recently climbed a mountain takes the first turn, and play passes clockwise. Each turn you will choose any five dice from the pool and roll them. When choosing dice, keep in mind that some are weighted for climbing, others favor resting, and some are evenly balanced. After rolling five dice, look at the results and then announce if you will climb or rest this turn. Set aside all results that correspond to your choice and return to the pool any results that do not match. Then, either end your turn and activate the results, or press on by choosing and rolling three dice from the pool. You can continue to roll three dice at a time and set aside the corresponding results as many times as you choose. If the pool ever has less than three dice available to roll, you must end your turn and act on the results you have set aside. After your first roll, if you chose to climb, then you must set aside all pickaxe and avalanche results you roll. At the end of your turn, for every pickaxe result you rolled, lower your oxygen marker by one space and move your climber pawn ahead one tile on the mountain. When you reach the end of a level, wrap around to the left side of the next level up. If the tile you land on is face down, flip it over and reveal it. Then perform the action as shown on the tile. If this causes you to move to a different tile, do not reveal or perform the action of the second tile. While climbing, if you accumulate three or more avalanche results, you bust, and your turn ends with no movement gain. You will also bust while climbing if you roll more pickaxe symbols than available oxygen. If after your first roll you instead chose to rest, then you will set aside all tent and yeti results you roll. At the end of your turn, every tent result you set aside raises your oxygen marker by one on the oxygen player board. While resting, if you accumulate three or more Yeti results, you bust, and your turn ends without gaining oxygen. You will also bust while resting if you roll tent results that would cause you to go above nine on the oxygen player board. The number printed on the back side of each mountain tile shows the maximum number of oxygen you can gain in a single turn while you are on that level. Any additional oxygen results you roll beyond the limit are ignored. Whether you choose to climb or rest, Yeti results you roll are always locked and cannot be re-rolled. Let's say you're the red player, moving one tile up the mountain. If you rolled at least one Yeti result on your turn, then the vicious Yetis are charging, and all players who are behind you on the mountain at the start of your turn scramble exactly one tile ahead without spending oxygen. This does not affect anyone who was ahead of you or sharing a tile with you at the start of your turn. Players frightened up the mountain by the Yeti do not get to reveal the tile they land on or perform its action. After a number of turns, you'll reach the summit of Yeti Mountain. Up here where the air is thin and visibility non-existent, things become even more treacherous. While on the summit, you cannot choose to rest, so you will gain no more oxygen. When you move to the top, you may choose to land on any one of the three summit tiles, then flip it. If you reveal a summit tile that does not show the flag, your turn is over. Keep in mind that while on the summit, you must still spend an oxygen for every pickaxe result you roll. If you ever run out of oxygen while on the summit and you have not found the flag, your game is over. If you make it to the summit and reveal the tile showing the fabled red flag, you win the game.
Congratulations! You have proven yourself the master of the Dicey Peaks.